On November 20, 1967, Company C, 2nd Battalion of the 503rd Infantry Regiment of the U.S. Army, marches up the steep side of Hill 875, located in Dak Tho, rural district in the Central Highlands region of Vietnam. The darkness is such that the soldiers cannot see more than a meter ahead. As they walk to their assigned positions to relieve Company A, they constantly stumble upon what appear to be sacks scattered on the ground. The first light of dawn reveals a Dantesque scene. Besides the scorched jungle and the logs splintered by the bombing, it becomes clear what the lumps really are. They are dead American soldiers, victims of the confrontation the day before, looted by their attackers. The relief of Company C happened on the second day during the attempt to recover the hill and expel the North Vietnamese Army from Dak Tho, which was once again using its exhausting tactics of attrition. But who was the winner of such a brutal confrontation? And what cost did they have to face? Join us in this new episode of Military History to find out all about one of the bloodiest episodes of the Vietnam War. The Battle of Dak Tho. Are you ready? Then prepare to travel back in time. During the summer of 1967, forces of the People's Army of Vietnam began to raid the Dak Tho border in the highlands of Con Tum province, causing increasingly frequent clashes with the American forces. General William Pierce, in charge of the defense, set up blocking positions. But infiltration could no longer be prevented, and the North Vietnamese tactic of getting within a few meters of the enemy limited the intervention of close air support. These heavy enemy contacts prompted peers to request reinforcement. As a result, Operation Greeley was launched on June 17th, deploying elements from the 4th Infantry Division and two battalions from the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Along with the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, they moved to the area to begin sweeping the jungle-covered mountains. The fight was intense and lasted until mid-August 1967, when the People's Army withdrew, but only apparently. By early October, U.S. intelligence reported that the North Vietnamese were withdrawing regiments from the Pleiku area to join the units that remained hidden in Con Tum. As a response, Operation MacArthur was launched. Dak Tho, together with the other population spread over the provinces neighboring Cambodia and Laos, were the focus of confrontations that became known as the Border Battles. But why was this position so important? For the United States, Dak Tho was the forward operations base for the Mach V Sog Special Operations Group. This unit assigned reconnaissance teams to gather information on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, a network of roads used by the North Vietnamese Army to supply both its forces in the South and the Viet Cong. In appearance, the North Vietnamese Army was trying to wipe out these camps, some 50 kilometers east of the Cambodian border. But what was the underlying strategy devised by the Hanoi-based leadership? forcing a mobilization of American and South Vietnamese troops towards the borders and allowing the Viet Cong to regain control over the civilian population. The first phase of a plan that would end in a major offensive to take Saigon. For Operation MacArthur, the Allied Army deployed no less than 16,000 men, with the 4th Infantry Division assuming operational control over the 173rd Airborne Brigade. About 15 Army artillery batteries, in addition to tactical air support from the A-4 Skyhawks and A-1 Skyriders, provided immense firepower. Against them were four regiments with a total of 7,000 men, which constituted the 1st Infantry Division of the North Vietnamese Army. The fighting, which began on November 3rd, was brutal and took place in the unforgiving ground of the central hills of Vietnam, a ruthless land, accessed through rugged limestone ridges, some of which surpassed 1,200 meters. The Dak Tho Valley, 
covered by a jungle of thick trees crowned by three canopies that rise 30 meters above the ground, is home to creepers, thorns, snakes, leeches, and a massive amount of mosquitoes. Weather and terrain favored the enemy, especially in close air support visibility limitations. The centerpiece of the battle was the 110-hour fight for Hill 875, and it was the costliest of the entire war. On the morning of the first day, three American companies composed of 330 men were ambushed in the first attempt to secure the position. First-class soldier Carlos Losada held the rear guard position of Company A with his M60 machine gun and secured the withdrawal before he was shot dead. At 1858, one of the worst friendly fire incidents in the Vietnam War took place when a Marine Corps A-4 Skyhawk fighter bomber flown by Lieutenant Richard Tabor dropped two 225-kilogram Mark 81 Snake Eye bombs where the combined command groups and the medical facilities were located. 42 men were killed immediately, and 45 more were injured, including the overall on-scene commander, Captain Harold Kaufman. The next morning, the three companies were chosen to relieve the men on Hill 875. Due to the terrain and the intense sniper and mortar fire from the People's Army, it took until nightfall for the relief force to reach the besieged battalion. The Dantes scenes already narrated belonged to the end of that terrible day. On the afternoon of November 21st, both battalions moved out to take the hilltop. During the fierce close quarters fighting, some of the Allied paratroopers managed to reach the North Vietnamese trench line but received orders to pull back at nightfall. The whole battalion redeployed and took up positions around the main support base in less than 12 hours. The following day, both airstrikes and heavy artillery bombardments were launched against the top of the hill, sweeping it away completely. On November 23rd, both battalions were ordered to renew their assault. Upon taking the hilltop, the Allies realized that the enemy had already abandoned their positions, leaving only a few dozen charred bodies. The last days on Hill 875 were the epilogue to a violent battle that lasted over four weeks. It had cost 432 dead, 1,770 injured, and 33 missing. Losses on the North Vietnamese Army side were approximately four times higher. In a strictly military sense, the fight in Dak Tho had been a victory for the Allied forces. On the other hand, the ambitious Tet Offensive was a failure of the Communist forces. But it showed that an American victory was not close, and it caused a commotion in the citizenry, which began to remove public support. Soon, the government began negotiations to put an end to the war. This might be the best example of what was, in essence, a war as surreal as the jungle in which it was fought. If you like the story of the Battle of Dak Tho, we invite you to share your opinion. Do you think that for the United States, the Vietnam War was lost even before it began? Leave us your comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and activate notifications to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history. Thank you very much for joining us, and until the next video.